another half a mile and I'll be at a farm that I haven't shot at in probably three years, maybe longer than that. You all know that I've been busy trucking over the road. Well, I sold my truck in May of this year and um, got a lot of free time on my hands now. I'm actually between jobs. And if you've um, paid attention to my recent videos, I've been doing a lot of thermal coyote hunting. Well, a buddy of mine and I were out in this area uh, scouting, um, you know, good spots to shoot coyotes. When on the way home that day, I decided to stop in this one farm and um, see how things were going, see if they were having problems with coyotes. And uh, turns out that um, this particular farm is not having those kinds of problems, but he said the pigeons are back and uh, maybe a hundred of them is what he said and that I was welcome to come back and shoot them. So just now pulled in, there's a few flying around, the rest are probably on the ground. So let's get the rifle set up in a good spot here and start shooting. All right, here we go. Here we go, first shot, 110 yards. Smoked him. Ooh, straight down, hard hit. Lots of pigeons here. Um, maybe 50 or 60 of them flying around right now. Okay. Need them to get on top silo, not right there. And um, here we go. Double. Smoked. Okay, that was a double. One went straight down, and the other one uh, crash landed right out here. So they're right back up there. These have not been shot at ever before. There we go. Smoked. Crash landing. And going right back to the silo. Well, I'm getting a little bit skittish now. Oh, there's one. Little bit of wind, I gotta figure out which way it's coming from. Got him. Okay, we're back. Let's see, that one, last one hit a little bit high, so right here. Double. That was a headshot right through him, and a body shot the one behind. So that's quite a few down already. Oh, look at that. Um, so these are decommissioned. See, oh, that could have been a double there, but we're right back up on top. Oh, a couple of young ones there. So let's do. Smoked. Okay, there's a lot of shooting here. Um, ooh, he's got to go down. He should be a little bit higher. I'll take him right here. White one with the black tail. Leveled out here. What does this look like? 
Okay. We'll get that one there. We've got about an inch of wind. I would like it if they were on the dome, but oh, there we go. Uh, double. Perfect. Oh, the other one just landed on the other silo. Smoked. Smoked. Super happy with um, the start to this farm visit. I went uh, 10 in a row. One of them was just feathers. I watched him fly off with his uh, legs up. So chances are um, that's all he lost was feathers. One was a double. So that's uh, 10 down. And um, four of them just came back. I picked off one of them. And uh, now there isn't a pigeon in sight. So they flew off to some, probably a farm a few miles up the road, but they'll be back. I'll do another one or two rounds on them, and then we'll call it a day here. Maybe stop at a farm on the way home. Um, we'll see. But so far, so good. Uh, 110 yards is uh, the distance today on both these silos. One's just a little bit shorter than the other. But let's see if we can... Um, pick up the pigeons we shot right now while there's a break in the action. There's a white one I got. Uh, looked like he had a black tail, but I um, definitely want to check that one out. Okay. All the shots today are 110 yards. Got a little bit of wind. Let's go for that one there. Smoked him. Uh, Silo's been uh, decommissioned, both of these, with no plans um, by the farmer to, you know, put them back into um, operational status. So, let's take a shot on him there. Should just be a dead on hold. Smoked. Okay, and here come seven more of them. they probably not going to land there with that one. Yeah, here we go. Another double. Perfect. Okay. Uh, about ten of them just came back. I uh, might have to go for that one there. Um, okay. Perfect. So I may as well answer a question that I've been asked a lot in the comments to, let's say, my last 10 videos, which are not air gun related, as to if I got out of air guns. Uh, 
mostly, yes, I did. Now, I still have two, the Benjamin Maximus and the um, Umarex Gauntlet, in case I have some close-in farmyard work or some indoor work. Um, I can use those. But I've pretty much sold everything. Um, I have my compressor and tank um, sold pending funds. So no more impact for a while. And the reason for that primarily is uh, due to, well, two big reasons. One, finances. Um, trucking didn't end well for me. It got super expensive out there. It was costing me, oh, let's see, how much? Um, $10,000 a month in fuel. So, yeah, and that's no exaggeration. $10,000 a month just for fuel. The rates for hauling freight didn't go up. I was dealing with uh, maintenance uh, last year at $45,000 in maintenance. And so um, just wasn't going to deal with that any longer. And I haven't been able to land the greatest jobs, um, ones that pay uh, well enough to support everything that I'm doing. Um, so that's one big reason. The other one is um, I got into rimfire bench rest shooting, uh, competition shooting at my local club. It's only two miles from my house and I have um, a really, really nice handful of friends that I'm able to shoot with on a regular basis. So uh, I actually sold the first impact I had and the Dreamline GRS to fund my competition rifle. And uh, with the um, power levels that the um, impacts are shooting right now, guys are shooting 40 grain slugs at 1,000 feet per second. Well, that's just pretty much in line with what I'm doing here on the farm today, um, shooting 40 grain uh, subsonic hollow points and they're going 1050 so uh, yeah I can use my um, competition rifle to uh, do farm uh, pigeon shooting and as you can tell it's uh, <laughs> super effective it's very accurate not quite as consistent um, as far as extreme spread as let's say a nicely tuned impact but um, still does an amazing job. This Voodoo that I'm shooting right now, uh, which is my competition rifle, is a uh, one MOA gun. So generally I can shoot one inch groups with match ammo at 100 yards. And this, um, these CCI hollow points um, don't do as well as that, but to um, shoot pigeons on a silo at 110 yards, well, I only got feathers once, so uh, every one of them, every other one has gone straight down. So that, I hope that answers um, questions that a lot of you have posed to me in the comments. Uh, when finances get better, I plan on getting uh, another high-end air gun. I don't know what it will be. It's just too far out right now to um, really have any serious thoughts about it so yeah thank you to all of you who have stayed um in touch with me on youtube and especially my friends um all over the country uh, paul in wisconsin john also there in central wisconsin um steve in new york of course i visited him the most while i was trucking um keith and norm um Erlis and jessica in florida uh, Len and Teresa in uh, Oregon. Yeah, just a um, bunch of fantastic people. I really appreciate, um, you know, the, the time you've spent with me while I've had downtime trucking. Uh, and hopefully at some point I will be able to visit you all again. Um, you know, like take a short vacation and um, catch up and shoot and things like that. So hopefully I can get a few more pigeons down, then I'm going to bail out of here. Okay. About 10 of them just came back. I might have to go for that one there. Oh, okay.
Perfect.